What's up, YouTube family? Hey, it's me, Tisha Black, and here we come with one more interesting topic. Those topics that I want to believe that you sometimes get confused. Okay, so you know what? Today's lesson will be talking about articles. Okay, when we mean when I talk about articles, I mean a, n, and v, right? And circumstances in which we may not need to use any article. Okay, like you know, article situation. So that's what we'll be talking about you now today's lesson. Let me just clear up this little thing. Okay. Good. Let me just okay, no article. That's it. Okay. So if you have problems in when to use an article and when you have not you don't have to use an article, this is a lesson for you. Okay. Just watch this lesson up to the end. I believe that you're gonna learn a lot from it. Okay, let's get started by A and N. We know that we use A and N with a singular countable nouns, okay? When we talk about countable nouns, we talk about things that is possible to count. I will just give an example here. I can say, for example, <coughs> car, something that we can count. But water, we cannot count, okay? It's liquid. House is something we can count, you see? But okay bread in english we cannot count you see these are examples of what is countable and what is not countable and we've got plenty of examples outside there all right cool so that's the first thing that we need to know we know we use a and n with a singular countable nouns understand what i'm saying singular you cannot use them with the plural but just with singular countable nouns let me just give one example in the same this year i can say i so you see, I saw an old man with a dog, you see, with a dog. So here we have used the N and here we have used A, you see. So, why did I use an old man and a dog? Okay. I'm using these articles here because I'm mentioning these things. I'm, I'm mentioning these things here for the very first time. So the first usage of A and N or indefinite articles is when you are mentioning something for the first time. Okay. It's when we use A and N for the first time. Or sometimes we can also use it. Uh, we can also use A and N. When you say what something is or what somebody does, for example, let's go to that circumstance. I'm saying that we can use A and N when we say what something is. Okay, let's say it's a nice house. You see, it's a nice house. Here I'm just saying what is that house? How is that house? So it is a nice house. Okay, what something does, I can say I'm a teacher. You see, I'm saying what I do. You see, I'm just using here an indefinite article. She's a lawyer. My mom is a whatever and so on. You're just saying what something, I mean, what something does, okay? What somebody does, I mean. All right, cool. Uh, we can also use, okay, here we've just seen two usages of A and N. The first one, when we're mentioning something for the very first time, Okay, or when we mention somebody for the very first time. The second usage, when we're defining something, when we're saying what something is, or when we want to say what somebody does, when we want to talk about the professions of people, right? We have to use an indefinite article. It's wrong in English to say, I am a teacher, she's a lawyer. No, she's a lawyer. I am a teacher. That's the way we say in English, right? Cool. Uh, let's see the third usage of indefinite article. Let me clear the board. Okay, let me just clear the board. All right. Uh, we can also use A and N in exclamation sentences. For example, with what? Let me just give one example. I can say, what are beautiful what a beautiful day you see this is an exclamation sentence you see here as i'm just exclaiming i'm just using indefinite article a you see what a beautiful day oh in opposite i can say what okay an awful 
you see what an awful day you see this is opposite of beautiful day you see what an awful day i'm using here an article indefinite article a or n because here i'm just showing an explanation all right and the last one but not least the usage of a and n we can use it when we are expressing okay in expressions that are saying of frequency okay in expressions of frequency for example i have classes i have classes Okay, three times, three times a week, you see, three times a week here, I'm just using a week because three times a week is, is an expression of frequency, you see, it's an expression of frequency, three times a week, okay, twice a month, okay, once a day, okay half an hour and so on so there are some examples of using indefinite articles i hope that you have understood it if you did not understand you can just write for me there i will check it and then i will answer your question okay let's move let's dive into d now when do we use definite article d now we are talking about definite article d okay d right First, let me just write some little examples here so then we can discuss about the usage. Let's see. Remember, when I was mentioning the, 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 the thing, okay, for the very first time, I used the an indefinite article. Let's just go back a little bit to that example I gave when I was, okay, explaining about uh, the usage of indefinite article, mentioning things for the first time. Let's see here. I saw, I said, I saw an old man. You see, with what? With a dog. You see, with a dog. I saw an old man with a dog. You see, with a dog. So I can say, the dog, see here, the dog was barking. You see, the dog was barking. Why am I using the? Because here, um, okay. I'm just mentioning the dog for the sake and say the fourth and so on time. It means that, okay, we both know about what I'm talking about. Okay, we both know. I've already mentioned it, so it's not new. You know which dog I'm talking about. I'm talking about the dog I saw with an old man. That's why I'm using the dog. I'm not saying a dog, okay, because we, okay, know. So, use the when we talk about something we've already mentioned when we talk about something that both me and you the listener know what i'm what we're talking about right that's the first usage of uh, of the article the i mean of the definite article v okay the second usage we can use a definite article v okay when it's clear what you're referring to okay when it's obvious about what uh i'm referring to you see i can say um let let's just let, let, let me just take one example here i can say my father okay my father opened the door You see, my father opened the door. Mm -hmm. So, here you won't ask me which door because it's clear, okay? It's clear which door I'm referring to. You see, my father opened the door, okay? Uh, second example, I can say the children. Mm -hmm. The children are at school. Let's suppose that you just arrived at my house and then you see that my children are not there you ask where are the children i say well the children are at the school i'm here alone you see so it's clear you can understand okay which or oh, which 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 door my father opened the children i'm talking about and so on so this is the second usage of the when we both know okay when we both understand or when we both know what i am referring to right 
that is the second usage of the i hope that you're enjoying the lesson here if you have got doubts please write them there on the commentary box i'll see them and i'll just help you okay great let's just continue with this lesson now okay let's see the third usage okay the third usage of the we use the we use definite article when okay there is only one of something there's only one thing okay of that thing that you are talking about i'll just give example of things which are unique well here for example the sun there are no two suns there's only one sun you see this sun i'll say another example the moon you see there's they are they aren't two moons it's just one moon sorry this this doesn't look like a moon but okay yes let me see i'm not good at drawing you see this is a moon okay the moon there aren't two moons it's just one moon where's the uh, the f you see there aren't two f's and so on it's just a one f the f of the planet right so here i'm using them because there is only one of something okay there is only one of these things they aren't two three four five so we have to use definite articles with the unique things in the world right let me just give a simple example using these words i can say they okay the moon goes okay goes round the f you see the moon goes round the f i'm using d and d because these two things here are unique in the world right this is the third usage in summer i said we use definite articles when we talk about something we've already mentioned okay when they give example of that one of the old man with the dog okay with the dog and then the dog blah blah and so on and when it's clear what we're referring to okay it's obvious okay we can understand both of us and now i'm just saying that we use the okay to refer unique things okay in the world okay unique thing when there is only one of something and the last one, okay, but one, uh, it's when we are talking about places in a town, okay, places in a town. For example, the cinema, the theater, the school, the hospital, those are places in the town. So you won't say, I'm going to a hospital, but I'm going to the hospital tonight, okay, you see, that's another usage, let me just write here only to help you say i'm going to i'm going to the cinema you see i'm going to the cinema tonight why am i using the because i'm referring to a place in a tower you see i'm just referring to a place in a tower and the last usage let me clean it let me clean the board right the last usage is when we are dealing with superlative forms okay we know that that famous expression i'm the best you see blah blah is the best you see we are using there there before best because best is superlative okay of verb i mean of the adjective good okay so what can we say it's the best okay it's the best restaurant in town you see it's the best restaurant in town great so i hope it's clear until here one more time if it's not clear just write down the commentaries i will see you then i'll see if i can help everyone here in our channel and remember to share this video to a friend so that it can help us to grow our channel and also hit the like button if you liked the video and if you didn't like it as well just hit the button okay to know that you didn't like like you dislike the video right so now let's see the last thing of this this video that i just promised to bring i said that we're gonna see when we mustn't use any article like no article okay we don't use an article when we are talking in general okay when we're speaking in general with plural and uncountable nouns we don't use any article let's suppose that i want to talk about women in general i can say women i won't say the women but i'll say women okay usually 
usually talk more usually talk more than you see than men here i'm talking about women in general and men in general but if i want to talk about a specific group of women for example women of my city i can say the women of my city talk more than the men okay of my city you see so i'm just being specific all right so when we're talking about something in general with plural and uncountable nouns we gotta use it okay we gotta use them those nouns without any article right let me just give a second example i can say love is more okay important is more important than money although i don't believe it you see okay so love is more important than money that's my personal opinion right i think that love and money have got the same level of importance right good but we're here to discuss about that all right so love is more important than money i'm talking about okay i'm talking about things in general okay i'm talking about things in general let me just give the last example about this aspect here let me see if i can clean the board and clear it okay i love okay i love flowers let's pay close attention here i love flowers and i love the flowers what is the difference between these two sentences okay i love the flowers in my in my garden you see i love the flowers in my garden right what is the difference between two sentences here we got to i love flowers i'm talking about flowers in general you see flowers in general but if i say i love the flowers okay in my garden i'm talking about specific flowers and if, which flowers am i talking about the flowers which are in my garden you see that's the difference so flowers in general no article okay specific flowers god use the article to define define i mean definite article the, to define the flowers which i'm talking about i'm sorry guys all right cool let's see the second way the second situation in which we cannot use any article with some nouns okay there are some nouns which we can't use articles you see for example i can say uh she's at home today you see she's at home today i can't say she's at the home today yeah that doesn't sound good that's not correct you see she's at home today okay i get back from school you see i get back from school you see at 5 30 you see at 5 30 so here i won't say i get back from the school no you see so it's not correct to use those would do to use the articles here before these nouns like home work school church okay after add to and from right after these prepositions here after whereas here we've got add from and to i'm going to zona verde i'm going to i'm coming from all right but in other circumstances you can use okay the school is beautiful and we know when we use when i say the school is beautiful i'm talking about a specific school which is in my city okay the school is beautiful the church is open but i'm going to church right not i'm going to the church all right i hope it's clear if it's not please just write something down in the commentaries and i'll see there if i can help you all right and that will also help me to grow of course i'm not perfect but i'm here sharing a little bit of my knowledge with you guys okay cool let's go to the next the next situation in which we don't need to use any article no article situation we don't need to use articles before meals days and months let me just highlight it before meals days and months okay no article okay days so you see for example meals where here breakfast okay supper 
mm -hmm. dinner, whatever maybe you might be talking about days, okay? Uh whether well, yeah. Monday, Friday, etc. You see, months, January, my favorite one, okay, January, okay, March, and so on, you see. So before sorry, before 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 meals, days and months, you don't need to use any article. Let's see one example. We can say I never I never I never have breakfast. You see? I never have breakfast. It's an example, right? I always have breakfast. I think that is the most important meal for me. I might not have lunch, but breakfast I have to have it. Yeah. So uh, I I never have breakfast. You see, I won't say I never have the breakfast. Mm, no, 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 no. Okay. But if you want to talk about the specific breakfast, the one you had day maybe yesterday when you went out with your friends, you can say the breakfast was good. Okay. But here talking about breakfast in general, you don't need to use the. All right. You don't need to use the. Okay, on Monday, on Monday, on Monday, I have a meeting, you see, I have a meeting, you see, yeah, I'm not saying on the Monday, no, 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 on Monday, I have, me I have a meeting, something like that, and the last one, the last situation, which we don't need to use any article is before, before next, okay, before next or last, plus day, okay, plus week, plus month, you don't have to use, okay, etc. and other, sit and other situations, you don't need to use there, okay, you don't need to say, you won't say, for example, see you, see you next, next, for example, next Friday, Okay, see you next week, see you next month. I want to say see you the next week, the next Friday, see you the next month. No, okay, that's that's not correct. Next week, we're going to have another lesson. Not the next week, we're going to have another lesson. That's it for today's lesson, guys. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you did so, just hit the like button and share this video to your friend. If you're not subscribed also, just subscribe to yourself and, okay, and be aware, be attentive in the channel because I'm going to bring a lot, a lot, a lot of knowledge, a lot of videos talking about English. Thank you very much to watch this video until here. Remember, if you've got a doubt, just write in the commentaries. I'll see it and I'll see if I can help to solve that problem. Together, we reach the fluency level that I always dreamed. Thank you. Bye. See you.